Okay, guys, welcome to another night. Never chalk gym. Gonna have a good workout tonight. Floor pommel, horse, and rings. We're gonna get through everything tonight. I'm gonna try to do uh, five minutes of that Future Star flexibility routines as well. Got a couple of new people on the call tonight, so want to make sure that you guys act as leaders so that we can show everybody what to do. If you're new, make sure that you uh, take a look at your chat so that you know what the rules are. And if you have any questions, you can send me a chat. All right, but I think that you'll be presented with information that's clear and the guys on the screen have become the stars of the show, so they know what to do. So just watch the TV and enjoy. Gonna go to Yusuf, do some walking with wrist rolls. Let's have a good night, guys. Single finger pull down stretches, left hand. Start with your first finger. Next finger. Next finger. Next finger. Switch hands. Next finger. Trying to keep your arms straight, Abdul Reem. Stretching the top of your wrists. We're going to be doing pommel horse today. We've got to make sure we treat our wrists well. The reason I start with wrist flexibility is so that you remember what the wrist flexibility is so that you can continue to do it all day. Philip, let's go. Switch fingers. Okay, switch hands. This is pinky up stretch. Yusuf, why don't you show Abdul Rahim how to do that? So you're gonna take your thumb, put it in the base of your finger, your wrist there, and you're gonna push your wrist out. Open up. So just take a look at how he's doing it, Abdul Rahim. He's holding onto his whole hand. Okay, his whole hand, his thumb is at the base of his wrist, pushing outwards. Here, I'm gonna show you smoothie because his hand is so close and you can see a good angle. All right, so he's holding on to the top of his hand and he's pushing through his wrist and his arm is nice and straight. Now switch arm smoothie. Let's go palm up, pull down stretch. If you put a little bit of pressure on each finger individually, nah, you don't, don't let go. Just put individual pressure. Hold on to all the fingers. It's just pushed down on one one of them harder than others and I find it stretches different muscles of my forearm feels different and switch arms and have a good workout tonight guys okay Jacob let's show him one arm on top of the other stretch and show your wrists too so your first wrist is going to start, close your wrist down, close your top wrist down, close it the other way, the other way, yes. So Abdul Rahim, your top wrist is going to start like that. And then you're going to take your top wrist and open your top wrist up, open it all the way up, Jacob. Open your top wrist, there you go. And that's going to stretch your forearm of the bottom arm a lot, it's a great stretch. All right, just watch what Jacob's doing. Asher, it looks like you could do it a little bit differently. Jacob, can you do that one more time? Asher, watch what he's doing carefully. Okay, one arm on top of the other. Now he's gonna open up the top wrist, Asher. Open up the top wrist, you're closing it, Asher. Oh, there you go. And that should stretch the forearm of the bottom arm. Okay, it should look like this. This is now correct, Asher. All right, thumbs up if that feels a stretch on your bottom forearm. Yes, correct, okay? 
All right, good, Philip, you feel it too? Okay, good. All right, let's switch arms. Let's get that stretch on the other arm and let's move on to the stretch. Okay, let's do left arm circle going forward. And left arm circle backwards. Switch arms. Switch arms. Double arm circles forward. Double arm circles backward. Start with your arms low like Liam's doing and work your way higher and higher. And lower and lower. And higher and higher. And one hand on top of you, the other on your lower back. Push through your back. No, don't turn around. I had your back. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, and push through your lower back. And pull your elbows behind you. And you should feel a stretch on the front of your arms. I'm going to give myself Omar face the other way. Going to give myself a shameless plug. Pull the elbows back nice and tight. Pull the elbows back. Open up your shoulders and you're pushing through the small of your back. Omar, elbows above your head. 90 degrees. Point your thumbs behind you. Yeah, point your thumbs behind you. That's it. And your elbows are behind your back. Okay, Abdul Rahim, your elbows are behind. Abdul Rahim, take a look at the uh, camera. We're moving on. All right, so your elbows are behind your back. Can you face forward, our Omar, so we can see what your arms are doing? Yep. And now lifting up nice and slow. And then lowering down nice and slow. Keep doing that, but turn to the side, Omar, so we can really see what your elbows are doing behind your back. So he's trying to keep his forearms straight up, but behind his back the whole time. And you're going to feel muscles in your upper back firing to do that. Those are your rotator cuff muscles. They stabilize your whole shoulder. you got to use those muscles so much on your tippy toes all the way up, Omar, and stretching, stretching to your tippy toes. And then on your heels, perfect hand presentation. And then back and forth, up on your tippy toes. And perfect hand presentation. And up on your tippy toes. And perfect hand presentation. And up on your tippy toes in perfect hand presentation. There you go. Hands on your waist, feet facing in. It's all right. We're good. We're good. It's good. Oh, maybe you're giving me a different view. And feet face out. Yeah, you guys face the other camera. There you go. And feet face in, and feet face out, and feet face in, and feet face out. All right, let's go slow kick walks with your feet flexed. You know, not about how high it is. It's just trying to feel stretches in the back of your legs right now. All right, that's it. Trying to feel good stretch in your hamstrings, in your glutes, in your calves. It's not about going high right now. It's not about keeping form right now. It's just about stretching. All right, let's go sideways kicks. And kick down to your knee. Hey, Timmy, you want to lead us on the next one? you go okay guys five minutes started
So Abdul Rahim, if you don't know what you're doing, just follow the screen, okay? We got four minutes and 30 seconds of keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, that's what we got. Four minutes, 30 seconds, keep moving. Okay, so for the rest of the night, if you see that it's green, it means you should be doing something, okay? Now, it doesn't matter to me what you do. You could do anything that you see on the screen as a reminder, all right? Or you could be creative. Do whatever you think is going to get your heart rate up, all right? If you have a mushroom, you can swing mushroom. You can do jumping jacks, okay? I don't really like to tell you what to do. I like to try to give you options and examples of things to do. All right, looks like we got another guy over here. That's it, guys. We just got to make progress. We got to get better every day, every day. Right, don't look at the camera to get on the camera. All right, if you're looking at the camera, I'm not going to put you on. I'm only putting you on if you're working hard. And if you're on camera, don't go and adjust your camera. All right? You're on camera because you look good. So... Like Manny Ramirez said a long time ago, Isaac, if you look good, you play good, right? So I have, I have Isaac on there because he's working hard right now, like a beast. I don't even know who this kid is. He's from Champions, my dude, right? I got this guy on here, right, because his green shirt looks cool, and he's working hard. That's it. Three minutes to go, guys. I got this guy on here because his circles are probably going to, I mean, he's going to be dirty. <laughs> Absolutely dirty. I got this guy on here because I've never seen him have better form, right, for sure. I noticed that, right? That's the best form I've ever seen you have on circles right there. It's beautiful work. And then Abdel Rahim, I got you on there because you're lifting your knees way up high and you get it. So if it's green, Abdel Rahim, you keep going. Yeah, Omar, you look really nice. It looks really nice. I'll keep you on for a little while, spotlight you. It looks great. That's it, dude. That's it, dude. Good. All right, Aiden, nice work. All right? Pounding out the, uh, the steps. Nice job. Okay, fun to watch you guys. You guys are good gymnasts for sure. There's nobody on these calls that's not going to be a good gymnast someday. Right, everybody, good workers, caring about what they're doing, their craft. You know, impressive work, guys. All right, Asher, you look good, buddy. All right, committing to another good day of working out. Nice cartwheel, no steps. Like that. Hey, Asher, don't bend your arms on handstand forward rolls. Go do one more. Don't bend your arms on a handstand forward roll. It says it in the rules. Over and over and over. Arms straight, handstand forward roll. Yeah, don't bend those arms. Yeah, every judge is going to take two, uh, is going to take one or three tenths. No problem. Every single handstand forward roll. Come on, Jacob. Right? Start getting to five, ten every single time got to push yourself to the limit. Don't come off. Use all of your might to stay onto that horse. Okay, guys, 39 seconds to go. Then we'll go through our stretch. All right. It's nice work. Don't move, Sam. There you go, buddy. <laughs> right? Play the cameras, man. There you go, home slice. Sebastian, you're a beast, my dog. You're a beast. You crushed everybody in that handstand contest yesterday. Crushed everyone. Wow. I had to even try to think about making the handstand contest harder, and you still crushed everyone. Impressive. Okay, let's go to Yusuf. You can start us with the stretch. One arm on top of the other. Going to keep moving through workout today. We're going to get a lot of work done. I'm not about resting. This is a hard day. Tomorrow's a hard day. Then we got Nicholas Merriman, and I'm pretty sure... I'm going to have Akash Modi on Monday for an interview. It's going to be awesome. 
Okay, I think that Billy Callahan might come on tonight during Pommel Horse, and if that's the case, when we do our routines level sixes, I wouldn't mind if he watched and gave some input. Just follow Yusuf. I'd much rather give you information than tell you what to do. Well, everybody knows the warm-up right now. Everybody's been doing it every single day. I'd much rather get you guys be the stars of the show and me not say anything anymore. Just give some filler, some knowledge, some information. Okay. Roll your waist out. Okay, hips. That's it. Nice to see you, Max. Okay, knees. Guys, got to get good. You got to get good. Philip, you just got to hit me up for the 6-for-6 six six gear, my dog. I'm 6-for-6. Six six. There'll be stuff coming out for sure. I just got X-Bands in. All right. I can get hats and shirts and pants, whatever you guys want. Maybe I'll put just like a, a whole list of stuff together and you guys can just make an order. And I'll put it all in. Timmy, my dog. What's up, my man? How you doing, bruv? You can take yourself off mute. I got you. How are you? Are you okay? All right. Well, nice to see you. Let's get stretching. Good job, Yusuf. want to try to stretch through movement. Once you establish that increased heart rate after that five minutes of running, you want to keep the blood flow in your arms and legs. If you just sit there and stretch, then what happens is the blood just starts to go back to your stomach so it can digest the food. Once you've established the blood in your arms and legs for the next, like, you know, two hours, we want to try to keep it there. That's the best opportunity to get oxygen and fuel to your muscles. Right, so we want to keep moving, whatever you're doing. All right, stretch your uh, toe point when you're done, Yusuf. No rush. Actually, let's now that now that your hands are like that, let's do our wrist push-ups, 15 each way. All right, so up like this. Yeah, on on, on your knees. You don't have to do real push-ups with this. All right, it's too much pressure. I find just pushing on the back of my hands is enough. Yeah, that's what I mean, Philip. Just on your knees is good, bro. And the other one is on your palms, and you're just going to lift the like your palms up and keep the you know majority of your fingers on the ground. Yeah, Sam, I want you to keep your fingers on the ground, though, and just lift your palms up. Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. All right, let's stretch your toes. Lean back. You know, and... When you guys do like Spider-Man stretch and do all this stuff, it's as you please. You know, I don't I don't care that you hold it back there for 30 seconds or 10, 20 seconds. I'm not really just want you guys to have the warm-up that you need. Okay, Dave Tilly stretch. I would say bend your knee your front knee just a little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And really just slide that hip forward, although at the same time, I don't know what's good for your body. But Sebastian, I want you to take a look at what, what Yusuf is doing for real. Right, his arms are both on his knees. His both arms are on his knees. His shoulders are nice and tall, and there's a roundness in his shoulder. Look at his back shape. Right, all the stuff that Yusuf is doing is for a reason. All right, so what you're going to try to do is that's perfect, Sebastian. You're just sliding your hip forward. All right, and you should feel it on the bottom leg, the leg that's on the ground in the front, similar to a split. I think it's a better, a better stretch than a split. And switch legs as you please, guys. Ooh. Yusuf's, Yusuf's going crazy and doing a shoulder stretch right here. But we may as well just let him do it. Well, let's go through our pike stretches. 
Open up your shoulders nice and tall. Maybe go, maybe go diagonal, Yusuf. There you go. Open up your shoulders. I really care that your back is straight here, Yusuf, not round. That's better, like that. All right, you'll feel the stretch. I don't really care how far you down you go. It doesn't matter to me. All right, separate your feet one inch, left hand, left foot, point your own toe down. Keep your back straight. Keep your back always shifting straight, always pulling straight. That's the whole goal. Right hand, right foot, point that toe. Come on, Omar, point those toes, bruv. Great job, Shane. Okay, a little wider, left hand, left foot. Aiden, open up those shoulders a little bit more, please. Nice and straight. Nice and straight back. There you go. Yep, exactly right. All right, right hand, right foot. Chase, huh? Nice to see you, Chase. All right. Let's go left hand, left, uh, 90 degrees, left hand, left foot. Yep, you got to think about toe point. You got to be pointing hard. You got to commit to the rules. You know, if you guys were skateboarders, nobody would say anything about form because there's really no rules like that, but it's integral. Right hand, right foot. And I find like your toes are just flags. They're things that people can see from across the gym, waving all over the place, no matter what skill you do. And it's easy for people, your, your parents, judges to see that right hand right foot so if you got to judge something it should be something uh sorry elbows in the middle yusuf if you're going to judge something it should be something that you can see from all the way across the gym and that's your feet so it just makes an easy judgment call okay nice and wide left hand left foot come on guys gotta look good you gotta look good Keep those knees tight, right? Keep that knee tight down there. Right, keep that knee tight, Shane. You know I'm coming to you next. That's right. Yeah, keep those knees tight. You gotta be super tight, guys. You can see bad form from all over the place. Elbows down. Elbows down, open up your shoulders. Sorry, you're correct. That's fine. Right hand, right foot. It's good. And let's go. Let's move on a little bit. Elbows in the middle. That's it, open up nice and tall. Keep those knees and toes tight. I mean, I want perfect form. That's it, that's it, Omar. Point that right foot more, a little harder. All right, keep tighter, a little tighter. Five seconds, tight as you can. Come on, straighten those knees, boss. There you go, homie, good. Okay, guys, let's go. Bridges, three bridges. Yeah, boone, boone, boone. Yeah, don't duck that head, Boone. In Future Stars, you got to be looking at your hands. You know, I think that you got to get a little bit more extension in those arms, bro. I think you got to work on the un your uh, your underarms. It's like not your armpits, but it's your uh, it's a different muscle. I'll show you with Sam afterwards. That's it, guys. Ada, nice job. I'm right, starting to be able to hold that a little bit more consistently. Omar, that's fine with me. All right, Sebastian, good job, man. Good job, Sebastian. Shane, better. Good job. Right, extending through those shoulders. All right, pasta, get going, bro. All right, Liam, good job. Yeah, I got you. Good job, nice job, Jacob. Okay, guys, let's do um, let's do three future star flexibility routines, and we'll go on the first break. Okay, gotta look good, guys. You gotta look good doing. It. I'll keep on. I'll keep it on. Uh, yeah. Well, maybe I'll let you work on it a little bit more. Okay, smoothie, let's do it. I'll see you. Okay, ready. Abdul Rahim, just watch what you see. Try to listen to what I say, okay? You'll get it. All right, smoothie. I think it's a mistake to start with your arm side to the side. It says you got to swing your arms forward and kick forward, right? So starting to the side, that's better, but you got to kick forward. Let's try one more time. Let's try one more time. Arms forward and kick. That's better. That's better. But I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. May as well go. Listen. So if it's a kick, how high does the kick have to be? right man it's like before you even do gymnastics on floor in the flexibility routine if you don't lift your arm forward and kick 90 degrees i'm hacking you right so it's just yeah that's it now all right let's just go from here go prone fall point your foot at the ceiling go to a push-up shape keep on my time push-up shape keep going and slide your right foot forward hold one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand slide to the middle hold arms out one one thousand two one thousand 
Three one thousand. Hands on the floor. Pike, uh, do a pancake. Go. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Up and over. Belly on the ground. Belly on the ground. Push up shape. Left foot. Hold. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Slide your right leg. Go push up to a bridge. Now you can just fade. Yeah, that's fine. Good job. I agree. I understand. Slide down. Bridge. Slide down. Do a slide down. All the way. Lift your hands up and forward and then around. Forward and then around. Lift up smoothie. Hello. Smoothie died, everybody. All right, we'll go to Yusuf. I think I think uh, Smoothie's video stopped. Okay. Um, uh, slide your hands forward. Yep, yep. Bridge. Slide down. And then arms up and around. And then sh there you go. And slide your hands all the way forward. Open up your chest. Do a pike. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Sit up with your arms horizontal. Hold one 1,000. That's too high. I would take two tenths. That's horizontal, brother. All right, guys. Stand up. Let's go. Two more. Rapid fire. Let's get it done. Okay. It's lift arms forward while kicking. Go to a prone fall. Point your foot at the ceiling. Push up shape. Right leg forward. Go. Hold one 1,000. Two one thousand, one tenth, too high. Three one thousand. Yep. Middle split. Hold. One one thousand. Arms got to go horizontal, even if you can't go all down all the way. That's it. Come on, buddy. Okay, I get you. I get you. We'll move on. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. No, no, you got to put your feet ninety degrees. Feet ninety degrees. There you go. Now your arms have to be parallel above your head. Above your head. Arms parallel. Yeah, that's the only thing in the routine where your arms are parallel. Now belly on the ground, up and over. Go right to a push-up shape and left leg split. Belly, oh, yep. Push-up shape, left leg split. Hold. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. One tenth. Too high. Slide your right leg. Good. Push up to a bridge. Push up to a bridge. Uh, legs got to be together. Got to point those toes. Got to be looking at your hands. Slide down. Sit up. Lift your hands above your head and stop. Good. No, no. Just stop with your hands above your head just so everybody can see what I want you to do. I don't want your hands to go sideways from here. I want them to circle it forward and downwards. That's sideways and downwards. Sit up nice and tall. I want you to put your hands kind of like near your thighs, like moving, your arms are gonna just, yes, and then go backwards, yes. Okay, so do a bridge, do a slide down. Do a bridge, do a slide down. Yeah, please and thank you, Yusuf, I appreciate your help. Slide all the way down, stop. Hands up and then forward and around. Yes. And then there's no stops to the whole thing. Right? There's no stopping. Okay? Slide your hands forward. Do your pike stretch. All right? Good. Let's do one more time and we'll be done. Sam, you're on. Okay. Uh, I like this view better. Go, go to the other side. Go to the other side, Sam. Yeah, stop right there. Yeah, good. All right, here we go. All right, it's got to be on point, buddy. Here we go. All right? Arm swing forward, arm swing forward, and kick, and prone fall. Point your foot at the ceiling, push up shape, right leg forward, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Middle split, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Hands down, move your feet 90 degrees, arms parallel, pancake, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Belly on the ground, slide all the way up, push up shape, left leg split, hold, one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide your right leg. Go up to a bridge. Remember how to get out of the bridge. Go. All the way up. Leg straight. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide down. Swing your arms above your head forward and around. Swing up forward and around. Good. Right. I like that very much. Look at the ceiling here. Hold one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Slide all the way past your feet. All the way. Hold shoulders up. I want to see a back straight here. One 1,000. Two, you got to go all the way down, but I do want your back straight for sure. Sit up in a pike shape with your arms horizontal, like a nail. Good job. Stand up. Go get yourself a quick break. We're going to get ready for floor. Good job, guys.
All right, guys, let's get going. This is going to be the second half of the exercises. Yusuf, understood. I hope that you and your family have a wonderful holiday. I'll be thinking of you guys. Okay, so we're going to do the second half of the exercises today and tomorrow. Then we're going to repeat the same thing that we did this week, next week. And then we can start mixing and matching all of the exercises, and I can start changing them and doing whatever we want. Okay, so we're going to just get more creative. The other thing is, is I'd like to actually not change these exercises at all. I'd like to start to introduce other exercises like strength and conditioning over the next month and a half so that we can start moving on with with our hypertrophy training that's supposed to start on June 1st. So if we're back in the gym, that's what my guys are going to be doing. But if we're not back in the gym, we're going to have to do it here. So we're going to move forward and I'll have to teach you so many different exercises. So I'd rather keep these drills the same and add on top of that as opposed to keep changing stuff. So, all right, level fours. You guys are going to be on floor doing handstand fall to bridge. Level fives. You guys are going to be on the wall doing bridge walk-ups with your, your hands on the wall. We've got to be adept at doing bridges and hollows so you can learn how to do effective front handsprings, front handspring step-outs, front layouts, back handsprings. Level sixes are going to be on floor doing endo rolls and straddle rolls to a stand. If you can't do an endo roll, then do a straddle roll to a stand. Level seven, you're going to do pike handstand holds. Level eights, nines, and tens, pike handstand holds with one foot pointing at the ceiling. I think everybody knows what it what what that is. Okay, Abdul Rahim, I'm going to take you off mute for one half second. Okay, I just have a question. What level are you, my man? Um, level seven. Okay, so I'm going to really spend some time today, guys, on the level seven skills and make sure that he knows what we're working on. Everybody else here, I think, knows what's going on. Philip, I know that you're a level seven, so maybe you can be just like a, a leader for him today. All right, and maybe I can just keep looking for the green shirt and asking you to help Abdul Rahim out because he doesn't know really what's going on. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe today will be a learning day for everybody, and I'll just use Philip as much as I can, okay? So, all right, guys, it's green. I think everybody knows what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, send me a chat, and I'll answer it, okay? All right, let's have a good workout. Okay, Abdul Rahim, let's take a look at uh, what Philip's doing here. So, Philip, I just want you to go over to that mushroom, and you're just going to do a pike handstand on that mushroom. So you're going to put your hands down, and you're just going to hold that like that. And I want you to focus on opening up your shoulders. Right now, you're sticking your head out. No, I want you to just keep your feet on the mushroom. You don't have to take your body off the mushroom. Just keep your feet right on it. Okay, that's it. Just like that. And I want you to spend like minutes at a time up there. Okay, now you don't have to worry about the hand, your feet and the balance of your body. All you have to worry about right now is whether or not you can keep that handstand up there. Right, so Yusuf was talking to people from one of the colleges and they said that the first thing that's going to happen when they get to college is he's going to have to hold a three-minute handstand. That's the drill, a three-minute handstand. So unless you can do these things for three minutes... I think a handstand is going to be even more difficult. Now, let's see it, Yusuf. So, Abdul Rahim, if you can try to find a position, so see how Yusuf is in a true pike. Right? I think, Philip, your foot's a little bit low. Right? So try to maybe find something that you can get your butt. You don't have to right now, Abdul Rahim, but just take a look at what he's doing. His back foot, his foot that's on the couch is pretty high. Right, so maybe you could put your foot a little bit higher on the couch so you can truly get a pike, or you can put one couch cushion on top of the other couch cushion. You're gonna have to modify your environment. There you go. You know, just think about how you would change things in the future or whatever you would do. Yeah, there you go. 
So what I want you to be able to do with this drill is I want you to not have to worry about the feet part of the handstand. And right now all you have to worry about is whether or not you can hold it up there a long time. You got to think about stabilizing your shoulders and not sticking your head in or out too much. But maybe Abdul Rahim, you can move your hands back towards your bum a little bit, right? I think that your hands are in front. I would even go more and I would slide your feet and your hips over your hands more. Yep, I would get into a handstand. It looks like you have a shoulder angle to me. Try to get your arms straight up and down. No, it's the opposite way. You want to go the opposite way, right? Get that arm straight up and down. And now, now you got to get that waist straight up above your arm. Right? You got a pike. There you go. There you go. A little bit more. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Yeah, that's better. Now what I see is your arms are straight up and down, and there's a straight line from your hands all the way to your waist. Right? If you could. Yeah, that. That's what I want you to work on. Okay. Good listening, my dude. Good job. All right. Let's go to the screen. The next exercise is up. Come on, Abdul Rahim. Let's go. Okay, so this is floor. This is the next exercise, okay? The level fours, you're gonna be on the floor or next to a wall and you're gonna do a bridge kick over. So you're gonna start with your feet on the wall. I really want you to do a back walkover. I don't think anybody here can do a back walkover. Maybe Smoothie can do one. Sebastian can definitely do it. Okay, Pasta can probably do one maybe because of his back. He's pretty uh, pasta-y. All right, but I think a back walkover is something that we uh, I, I neglect. <laughs> what, he's pasta-y, you like that? So I think that um, I think that we really should be working back walkovers here. But I think it's if you can't do that, then you can do like a, a a back bend kickover, or you can start with your feet on the wall and kick over. So level fives, you guys are going to be doing endo rolls to a stand or straddle endo rolls. Level sixes, you got to get strong. So five sets of twenty push ups. Level sevens, and that's five sets of twenty push ups in three minutes. So that's a lot of work. Level seven, slow motion forward, roll to your back and then reverse direction with toes pointed. It's a toes pointed skill, it's a form skill. Level eights, nines and tens, you guys are gonna do your scapular depressions and elevation. I'm pretty sure Yusuf knows how to do that, but I think it's just easier if I show everybody who doesn't know with just these, these things that I have on my screen that I can use. So it's just, you're gonna kick to a handstand and you're gonna push all the way up nice and tall with your shoulder blades and then down. And then up nice and tall with your shoulder blades and down. It's called scapular elevation and depression. And I want you to be able to use your shoulders that way because it's those muscles that are going to help stabilize your shoulder. Those are your rotator cuff muscles. So we want to just be strong there. All right, so that's the exercises. Okay, I'm going to start the timer now, go. Yeah, Sebastian, go all the way down. Keep your head forward. Sebastian, put your head forward. Look forward. There you go, Sebastian. All the way down. There you go, my dog. There you go. There you go. Pasta, get going, bro. Keep, get going, bro. Okay, Philip, let's see it. So, Abdul Rahim, this is what you are doing, okay? You're going to do a slow motion back and roll. Like, I don't want it to go fast at all. I want you to be in control of your knees right there, your toes, your toes, your toes, your toes, your toes. Like, and then use your all of your might to push back up. That's it. That's it. That's it. And keep your knees tight. Knees tight, Philip. Don't let me see air between those those knees. It's all thoughtful. All thinking about your shapes. Philip, so fun to watch, dude. That's pretty good, my man. Okay? That's pretty good to watch. It's fun. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're working on. You know, keep those knees super tight, Jacob. Super tight. Super tight. And lift your hips and shoulders. Okay, lift those hips and shoulders. Okay? All right, Chase and Boone, you got to start right now. You got to keep going until the other one doesn't go. Go. It's nice to see you guys. Good job. Yeah? All right. Come on. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. All right, Shane. Let's see a nice big set from you. Okay? 
Come on, Shane. Let's see a nice set of push-ups. See, Shane? Dang it. All right. All right, Jackson. Let's see a good set from you. Got to be the same push-ups that you're expecting to do when you're doing your testing strength. Guys, one minute to go. Got to get strong. I mean, those of you guys who are starting to do Future Stars realize that it's a different game. All right? Those of you guys who are struggling to do a handstand, struggling to do those presses. Scott, it was hard for you to do a press handstand, get that press all the way up this year, you know? Same thing with you, Sam. You know, well, maybe not Sam too much, but, I mean, if you're not strong, gymnastics is not easy. So you got you to gotta understand that push-ups and pull-ups and dips and those are the things that we should be working on right now anyway. All right? Boom. Nice job. Every single one of those. Nice job. Right? Not only do I appreciate it, but Abdul Rahim does too. Abdul Rahim, keep those toes together, right? Not one toe on top of the other. All right? Nice and tight. Toes pointed. Pointed, pointed, pointed. Everything perfect. Everything perfect. Yeah, that's good. You know, maybe maybe your left toe is a little on top, on top of your right, but that's pretty critical. All right? Keep it perfectly together. Perfectly together. Right? Yeah, I like that. Good job. All right, Abdel Rahim, let's go. Next exercise is up on the uh, screen. So you guys, uh, level fours are going to be doing five sets of 10 push-ups. Touch your chin to the ground. Keep your body straight. Level fives are going to do bridge hold for 20 seconds. Your front handsprings and back handsprings on floor are dependent upon whether or not you can do a bridge shape, but not, a, not just an archy, loose bridge shape, a tight bridge shape, and also a tight front handspring hollow shape. So, I mean... And the end and the interchange between the two. Level six is five sets of five handstand push-ups. Level seven is five sets of eight handstand push-ups. And I mean, uh, Yusuf, I think that you should be able to do 20 handstand push-ups with nothing, right? Okay, let's get it going. It's green. Two minutes, 40, 40 seconds to go. All right, let's work. Yusuf, what about what about parallettes, my dog? If you guys want to do those on parallettes, that's fine as well. Yeah, that's fine. Right, save your wrists a little bit. It's a little bit easier to hold the handstand on the parallettes. Okay, if you don't know what you're working on, here's an example. Okay, that's it, Abdul Rahim. That's it. Got to put out numbers, guys. You know, but, but don't do it with an arched back. Don't do it with big form. Do it like Usher is doing. Like with tight form against the wall, making sure his body is straight. Usher, you're a hard worker, my dude, right? I don't care that you guys go for the entire two minutes or three minutes. That's not the point. The point is for us to go back to the gym stronger, right? So you got to apportion some time during the day, during, yeah, Shane, this makes me happy, right? Green wall of fun. Look at this. Nice job, man. I wish Timmy stayed. Oh, Timmy's here. Timmy, we miss you. Let's go. You have a one minute and 35 second handstand, Timmy. All right, come on, Yusuf. Let's see three of them. That's it. And get the handstand. Hold the handstand. Yeah, it's good. I like what you're doing anyway. Come on. This has got to help you on a peach handstand. It's got to help you everywhere. Boom. Peach handstand. Catch. Catch and push. That's it. Come on, man. One more. One more. You got to want to get better more than your arms are tired right now. Right? And all of this stuff is in your head. You could be totally dirty, bro. Boom. That's it. Okay, Yusuf. Good effort for sure. Again, huge effort. Huge effort, man. This kid is a beast. Jackson, I take a hundred of you. A hundred of you on my team, sicko. All right, Boone, let's get it. I'm coming to Sam next. I want to see some good handstand push-ups. Make sure your arms are rested. Sebastian, I'm coming to you after Sam. Show us something disgusting. Okay. All right, Boone? Big boy. All right, Sam, let's get it. Sebastian, can you do it without any any wall or nothing like that? I want you to go headstand, handstand, headstand, handstand, as many times as you can do it. Headstand, handstand, headstand, handstand. Come on, babe. Peace mode. 
This kid's dirty. Dirty. There you go, Sebastian. Right? You keep pumping up. Do a couple more. The harder you work, the more other people are going to work. Right? Good job, Sebastian. You watching this, Yusuf? Impressive, man. Impressive. Impressive, Sebastian. You're a beast. Yo, Yusuf, give that kid a thumbs up, yeah? <laughs> All right. All right, Sebastian. I got you, my dude. All right, let's go. Next exercise. All right, level four is you're on parallettes. So you're going to do 50 kick handstands. I don't really care if you hold them. I care that you start to become more comfortable in your handstand than you do standing on your own two feet. All right, level fives, 30 straddle press handstands. It's all of your bonus pretty much on everything. And if you can't do a handstand, then it makes it significantly different, difficult to do level eight. And it's, it's almost impossible to do optional levels. So we gotta learn presses as much as possible. Level six is bridge slide downs. Level seven is pike stretches with your leg raises. Pike stretches, oh, okay. Um, I, can have, uh, I can have Jackson help me with that. Oh, 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 no, I'll have Shane do it. Shane's good. He's right here. So, Shane, let's go um, a really nice, beautiful pike stretch. Put your elbows down on the ground if you can. Yep, just like that. That's all I really care about because if you open up your back nice and tight and you point those toes, that will help stretch you. And now what I want you to do is push off of your elbows and try to lift your heels off the ground. That's it. Push off your elbows and lift your heels. That's it. That's it. That's all I want you to do. Okay. Level eights, nines, and tens. You guys are going to go paper man routines with 30 second breath holds. Or you can do, instead of paper man routines, you can do this. Um, Aiden, I'm going to have you show, I'm going to have you show Abdul Rahim how to make a paper man. Okay. After Yusuf shows a little bit of this. Abdul Rahim, go get a piece of paper. Okay. Okay, guys. Here's the exercises. You can do paper, paper man routines or what Yusuf was doing, and it's green. You got a picture that Yusuf, that uniform on Yusuf. Whichever one you want. All right, make sure you're wearing it in every single routine right here. Okay, Sam, let's see what you're working on. That's it. Can you show me from the side? Shane, I'm going to come to you next. Yeah, I want to show, I want you to show everybody how you got up to the bridge the last time. But remember when Lou was on, you got up to the bridge with your arms straight the whole time? Can you, like, change your screen so that we can see? I'll put it back on Sam so we can... Yeah, change your screen so that we can see the way that you got up there. You did it kind of, like, with your arms straight the whole time. All right, you work on that. Let me have uh, Aiden show Abdul Rahim what a paper man routine is, and then I'll come back to you when your camera's good. So, Abdul Rahim, you're going to take a piece of paper. You're going to fold it in half like Aiden's going to do. Fold it in half. Okay, quick, quick. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're going to fold it in half again, like Aiden just did again. Yeah. Quick, quick. Give your paper man some personality. And then you're going to fold it in half one more time. So it's nice and thin. Okay, then you're going to fold that in half. Like that. And then you're going to take one side only. And you're going to bend it downwards like that. Okay? And it's going to look like somebody who has knees. Like this. And it can jump. And it can do everything. Okay? And I want you to use that paper man to do routines on every event. It's something that I learned from Yin Alvarez, the Olympic coach. He's one of the best coaches that I've ever seen. And if it's good enough for him, it's darn good, good for me. Okay? Now, it says that the level the level 8s, 9s, 10s, and JDs, I want them to do paper man routines with 30-second breath holds. 
All right, and Yin said that's what he has his guys as they're traveling do to make sure that they stay on routine level. Um, holding the breath makes them a little bit tighter. All right, so that's what we're going to work on, okay? All right, guys, uh, I'll, let's go two minutes this time because a lot of people have already started, okay? But I do want to coach. Okay, let's see, Sebastian. Ooh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll go to Max next. Max, you just don't have a great camera angle, bro. That's it, Sebastian. I see a lot of bend in your back, Sebastian. And I want you to change shape in your shoulders, not your back. All right, I want you to make... It doesn't matter to me how high... I, yeah, open your shoulders up so much. Try to get your arms above your head so that, you're, so that your body can be straight in your handstands, okay? Nice work, Sebastian. All right, boone, boone. And I'm coming to Sam next. Boone, boone. Don't duck that head, boon. Chase, that's pretty good. But I see a little bit more shape in your lower back shape, uh, Chase, than your shoulders, okay? All right? Even, yeah, shoulders. Open those shoulders more, Chase, if you can, okay? Looks like uh, pike stretches with leg raises. Okay, hey, uh, Philip, take a look at this. This is what I want you to do. Okay, um, who is doing it the right way? Yeah. Um, I think I think Smoothie was doing it. Uh, I'll just teach you, Philip. Okay, let's go back to the screen over here. I'll teach you what I want instead of showing you. Okay, sit on your bum. Get rid of those. Sit on your bum. You don't need those. Get rid of those parallettes. Yep. Okay, sit on your bum. Face the camera and go into a pike stretch. So it says that you're going to do a pike stretch with leg raises, okay? I want you now put your elbows on the ground. Put your elbows on the ground, though. There you go. And look at the camera. Open up your belly. Open up your belly and just try to lift. Push your elbows into the ground. Put your heels off the ground. That's it. Okay, that's all I want you to do. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Try to hold it two, three seconds. That's it. And pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. That's it. Great, good job. Okay. All right, guys, let's come to the uh, screen. Okay, guys, three more exercises on floor, then we'll take a break. Level fours, you guys are going to be on the wall. You're going to do pirouettes against the wall. Right now, level fours are working on handstands. There's not even a pirouette in the routine, but there is in the level five, and it's a five-tenth bonus. So you're going to have to start learning it at some point, but I don't want you to learn it in an arch. So I want you to just practice pirouetting against the wall. Okay, Timmy? Okay, Timmy? Okay, Timmy? Okay, Timmy? All right. Seems like Timmy's... I think Timmy exploded, everybody. Shane, Timmy's exploded. Oh, no. All right. Um, the level fives, you guys are going to be doing pirouettes with your body straight. So now, instead of having to do it tethered to the wall, you can just work on pirouettes. But the goal is not, you know, five pirouettes in a row. It's to try to keep your body straight. No arching. Level sixes, you guys are going to be on the floor. Parallettes. Straddle handstand with one foot on the floor and switch to the other foot. Okay, so it's like the TikToks that we do. Level sevens, you guys are going to do parallettes, pike holds on your hands with feet one inch off the floor. Okay, that's the thing that that's the thing that uh, Philip is doing right here. So, all right, that's the one where you put your feet in the middle of your hands and push down through the parallettes and work on complete compression so that maybe you guys can do a V press through and a jam and all of those other skills that require that incredible flexibility. Okay, guys, let's get it going. Again, if you need something, send me a chat. It's the easiest way to communicate, but it seems like we're pretty good. Okay, like if you have to go eat dinner, I get you. You don't have to tell me. Just... Watch the TV show. If you're done watching, you got to go eat. Shut the TV show off. And if it's on when you get back, then you feel free to join us. Okay, nice Omar. Nice work. All right? Nice work. Just good compression. I want you to put your hands kind of between your feet if you can, as close as you can to your feet. That's it. And push and push. That's it, and it's like more through your shoulders than any... Ooh, nice, Omar, you get so many cameras. It's more through your shoulders than anything else. 
All right, Austin, put those, put your your feet right between your hands, right between your hands, like directly in between your hands. That's it. And I don't want you to be distracted by going to handstand. There is no handstand in this skill. All right. What it is, is just compression in your back, using your upper back skill, your upper back muscles, right? It's perfect, Yusuf, right? For the level sixes, this is the exercise that you should be doing, okay? Up and over, up and over. I mean, maybe to be critical, a little bit higher in a, in a, in a handstand maybe, all right? Even if you do it with your back and shoulders against the wall. But I think that, you know, if you're, it's, it should be like in a, a half press, so you're coming up and over your shoulders, up and over your shoulders. Let's see it, Mooney. Up and over your shoulders. That's it, up and over your shoulders. So you're almost in like a mini handstand up and over the top. Great job, right? That's exactly right. All right, Shane, let's see what you're working on. Yeah, more or less, Shane, that's good. Think about your form, though. Think about knees and toes. Knees and toes, knees and toes every time. All right, Sam, nice work. Up and over, up and over. And you also want to kind of like baby press it. I want you to, I don't necessarily want you to stop in like stop doing a handstand, right? It's supposed to challenge your upper body strength. And like now you're going to crank yourself to the other side and crank yourself to the other side. Yeah, Austin, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Maybe, you know, work on trying to get as high up towards the like a, like a three quarter handstand as you can. But I think that the effort's fine. All right, that's it, Jacob. Let's see it. right you got to get on top of the rail that's it don't worry about the camera Jacob it's there right get up on top of the rail like you're doing a one arm a handstand on one one bar there you go support yourself though right don't fall out of the handstand on one bar you got to go from that handstand to that handstand hey nice I like that one a lot Omar nice work Omar good work yeah Omar nice work that's right, fun to watch that fun to watch that buddy yeah Boone Boone Bune. Yes, good. Okay, guys, let's go. Next exercise. All right. Commendable effort, everybody. It's fun to watch you guys. All right, let's go. Single foot balances on the parallettes. One, two, three, go. So, Abdul Rahim, I want you to stand on one parallette. Uh, stand on both parallettes. Yep. Stand on both parallettes. Yep, and now I want you to try to balance on just one parallel, and you'll notice that like your ankle has to make all of these adjustments. You know, all of these, you're moving it to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and that's going to increase the strength of your ankle. So that's all I want you to do. I want you to try to balance for 30 seconds on one foot or 15 seconds on one foot, and then switch to the other foot and switch to the other foot. Everybody's going to have slightly different parallel or setup or whatever, but... Now, if you don't have a parallel, I understand. What you would do is you would do, um, like, sit on the ground on your bum and do just alphabets with your foot, right? Trace the letter A with one foot, and then the letter A with the other foot, and then go through the whole entire alphabet. But looks like everybody has all the resources they need. So, yeah, yeah, just one foot. Just try to balance as long as you can. Two minutes to go, guys. got to consider keeping your feet and your ankles healthy and strong you guys should be foam rolling you guys should be using the tiger tails you guys should be doing all the stretches that we do for warm-up you guys should I mean consider going other workouts there's other workouts in the morning the yeso workout with yin go yin sanity on uh, Instagram and he's got stretching and strength and all sorts of stuff all sorts of resources are out there if you guys really want right and if you uh, maybe want more than one workout there's you know all times a day people are doing stuff one minute 11 seconds to go all right all those little undulations in your ankles are are gonna strengthen intrinsic muscles that help stabilize make it so that you don't sprain your ankles make it sure so that your your arches are strong you know also the fact that Tarek's foot has to grasp onto the wood dowel it's going to make all of the muscles at the bottom of his feet strong. That's it, Tark. Good job, buddy. All right, nice job, Shane. Okay, guys, 35 seconds. 
you know, you could do this stuff, uh, I mean, uh, on, on the, if you don't have parallettes, you could try to balance on the bottom of uh, the mushroom top flipped upside down on the ground. That would also be great. All right. Okay, guys, let's do arch strength three minutes, and then we'll go uh, to our first to our next break. All right, so Abdul Rahim, if you don't know what you're doing, I'm gonna go to Jacob because he does it pretty well. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand facing the camera, and I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you a couple of different positions that your ankles can be in. You can roll them all the way in. Yes, not good. Or you could roll them out. Yes, good. And you're going to see how his, his, the weight is on the sides of his feet now. All right? And he's just going to lift his toes up. And if he lifts his toes up really high and really hard, you'll see his arches, the bottom of his foot, the arch at the bottom of your foot is going to round. Abdul Rahim, good job. Okay? I want you to put the balls of your feet, everybody, on the ground. The balls of your feet. Okay, if you don't know what that is, Jacob, point to them. All right, the balls of your feet, Jacob. Can you point to them so people can see them? Yeah, it's underneath there. That should be touching the ground. So I don't want you to go, Jacob, I want you to go too far onto, your, onto the outside so that your feet kind of lift off the ground. That's too far on the outsides. All right, can you go even further? Yeah, that's too far on the outsides. I want you to only go so that the, just the weight distributes to the outside and the balls of your foot is down on the ground and then lift your toes way up. Yep. And then what you're gonna do is try to lift your big toes only and your little toes are up or like Jacob's doing, your big toes are down and your little toes are up. But Jacob, you could stand on the outsides of your feet more, right? Get on the outsides of those feet. And you wanna try to hold it for like 30 seconds, I guess. Right, Abdul Rahim, you're in the opposite shape. Yeah, that's better, that's better. Right, maybe maybe get the balls of your big toes on the ground though. Right, that's better. And you can see I can see your left arch is really round right now. Right, that's what you're working on. You want to try to get those muscles. I don't want, I don't want to say to cramp out, but you want to get them to be tired. That's for sure. All right, I got three options to coach right here. So let's see what we're doing. I think that's Boone on the left. Boone, you're still standing on the outsides of your feet too much. Right. I want the ball of your foot, your ball of your foot on the ground. Yes, right there. Now I can see your arches are good, right? That's it. I want the ball of your big toe to remain on the ground as you splay your toes. Philip, I think that's you. You could you could step on the right foot a little bit more to the outside. A little bit more to the outside. And it's not, yeah, that's it. It's rolling your ankle the right way. Boone. Boone, get those, the balls of your feet on the ground. That's good. No, keep them there and splay your toes. Yes. Okay, and Chase, um, I want you to even up your feet. You're standing duck foot, right? I want your feet to face forward. Face forward, yep. See, like Phillips, they're like almost shoulder width apart. Yep, separate your feet just a little bit. There you go. That's better. Now stand on the outsides. That Yeah, that's a little too much, but pretty good, right? That's better. And open up those toes hard as you can. Okay, brothers, good. All right. Let's go have a break. All right, nice job on floor, guys. Gonna do some pommel horse when we come back. Savages. Okay, guys, let's get going. Level fours, you guys are going to be on the parallettes. You're going to do five forward and five backward windmills with each arm in a straight body push-up shape. Try not to lean side to side. Level fives, as many circles as you can in a row. We got to improve our numbers. And you got to think numbers like 200, 300. All right. Level sixes, same thing. Level seven, same thing. If you can't do them on the on the on a mushroom because you don't have one, do them on the floor. Abdul Rahim, do you have do you have a mushroom? Thumbs up if you have a mushroom, Abdul Rahim. No, okay. 
Okay, Abdul Rahim, what I want you to do is I want you to do walk arounds. Okay? I just want you to do walk arounds. You understand what those are? Uh, Shane, can you show Abdul Rahim a walk around? Right, you can certainly try circles on the on the floor if you want to. Or so he's just gonna do a push-up shape here. And he's just gonna, you know, walk around. Just do a walk around, bro. Right? I appreciate that shape. I appreciate that shape that you used, right? I noticed that for sure. Uh okay, okay, all right, okay. All right. Okay, I think that just about uh, I think that just about clarified what we should be doing. Abdul Rahim, you can do circles on the floor. Okay, Yusuf, give this kid props, my dog. Right, Boone, you're gonna like to watch this. Right, all right, my dude. So, Abdul Rahim, just make sure that you, your wrists, you know, are stretched. I'll try to remind everybody to make sure that we stretch our wrists over. Yeah, good thinking, my dude. Good thinking, right? And palm up, pull down, stretch, and pinky up, stretch, and one arm on top of the other, stretch, okay? Good thinking, dude. Good thinking. Okay, and then uh, the level 8s, 9s, and 10s, um, I mean, if you have mushroom front more and back more, Aiden, right? All right. Um, Yusuf, you can swing, right? Got to get that woo, so, and then the, the Roth, rather, so that we can do it for uh, Nicholas this weekend. All right. Okay. Um, Tarek, you could go probably on your elbows, walk arounds on your elbows, or you could go downstairs and go in between Yusuf's turns and do circles on that bum horse, that's for sure. Alright, that's what I would do. Okay guys, let's get it. Alright Sam, let's start with Sam. Let's see it. Okay buddy. Ten. Okay. Who's going to start? Uh, Austin. Let's see it. Oh, don't be stuck. All right. I'm going to go back to Sam. Sam, give me a big number. And then Shane's going to go next and beat it. Come on, here we go. Big number. Austin, rest up. I want to see 77. Rest up. I'm going to come after you. I'm going to come to you after Shane. I'm going to count every one of them. If you get to 100, I'll get you a hat and arm sleeves and X-bands. Six for six. Send them to you. I have no idea how many he's doing. I'm going to say 25. Shane, you're up. Go. Come on, Shane. Let's get it. Oop, my bad. What? How many, one second. One second. How many? Uh, I'm sure you'll send me in a chat how many he did. Okay, he's sending me in a chat how many he did, Shane. I'll tell you in a second. Get going. I'll count them all. He got 30. Come on, Shane. Five. That's 10. Come on. Okay, Austin, you ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Okay, not ready yet. Jackson, are you ready? You want to try to get a big number, Jackson? Thumbs up? Yeah, okay. So we'll go Jackson first, okay? And then we'll go Austin, and then we'll be done with this. Guys, we got to keep working on circles, so let's give Jackson a shot at the uh, at Celebrity, and then we'll give Austin the final shot. That's 10. That's 20. That's, ooh, okay, 29. All right, Austin, are you ready? 
Okay, Omar, you can beat 29 and then I'll let Austin go. <clears throat> you can be the champ for a second. Come on, you can go. Oh, my bad. That's five. Ten. That's twenty. Twenty seven. Eight. Nine. Thirty. 35, 35, okay, I'm down with that, I'm down with that, Omar, good job, man, yeah, good job, buddy, all right, Austin, let's get big number, let's go, let's get it, everybody else, keep working on circles, or you can count them out if you want, here we go, Austin, big number, ooh, my bad, it's five, ten, Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Boone's mom says that she that Boone just got a hundred. That's forty four, forty five. That's 50. Come on, buddy. Five. Eight. Come on, man. 60. Come on, just get into a rhythm. Just keep going. Do something amazing, dude. This is 70 here. Eighty. All right, dude. Eighty-one. I'm down with that. That's a personal record, right now. Boone's mom. I believe it. I believe it. Boone, you're an absolute savage. All right. So we have. There, okay. All right. Well, I can just. All I. I just believe you. Okay. So, it seems as though now you just did a hundred total. A hundred. One second. One second. Let's get to the bottom of this. Let's get to the bottom of this. I did a hundred circles. Okay. Right okay. So now, it's like the, so. Okay. Okay. So I say that you guys are pushing each other. All right, you guys are pushing each other to get better. Okay, Austin. Austin, I want to recognize this, buddy. I want to recognize the fact that you you are pushing people to the limits. You're pushing people to their limits right now. Okay? And there's no way that anybody has ever done this number of circles in a row. All right, but we can all do more. Right? Super proud of you, Austin. Right? You're a man. All right? It's good stuff, dude. Right? Same thing with you, Jackson. Okay, you guys are leaders for sure. Appreciate your hard work, okay? Nice work. All right, let's move on. Well, we're going to do that forever, okay? All right. This is the Pommel Horse champ of the Never Chuck Gym right now. All right, who wants to take that throne? Who's going to do 101? Who's going to do it? Okay, I'll tell you who's probably going to do it. Him, the next time he does it. Oh, Philip, I agree. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's move on to the next thing. Wow, impressive guys, good work. All right, so this is Pommel Horse number six. And Pommel Horse number six. Uh, level four is you guys are sliding forward with the feet and back on the sliders. Keep it easy for you guys. But the level fives and sixes are gonna go forward in and back out. All right, level sevens, Magyar and Savato walks. All right. Level 8s, 9s, and 10s, you guys are going to do Wu and Tong Fei walks around the parallettes. Now, 
Abdul Rahim, yeah, exactly. I want you to just pretend that those are parallel uh, pommels, like pommel horses, like pommels, okay? And I want you to just walk. I'll show you what I mean, okay? Yusuf is going to do it on his horse, all right? But certainly I want you to... No, I'll show you what it is, okay? So I want you to pretend that you have... The parallettes are on the ground. And you're just going to step up. You're going to step up to the pommel. And then you're going to step down into the middle. And step back up onto the pommel and back down. Okay, now Yusuf, can you do that one more time? And I want you to just stay in a little bit of a straddle. And I want you to slide, slide forward. Yeah, see how he's dragging his legs? All right, exactly right, okay? Magyar and Savato, okay? Tark, let me see that circle. Let me see it, buddy. Come on, TK, let's get it. Nice, dude. Keep that belly to the right. You'd be able to do two or three, no problem. Quick. Yeah, see your belly is left right now when you land. Keep facing, keep facing that way, and then just crank out another one. And do another one. There you go. That was almost two. All right, I bet you, I bet you, if you really believe in yourself right now, if you really believed in yourself, I bet you could pump out five right now and totally surprise yourself. Okay? Yeah. It's if you just keep your belly to the right, it'll you just repeat the same thing over and over. And do it again. And do it again. Yeah. It's like your body is your body knows how to do it. You just have to say, you know what? I am a good gymnast. And I can do this now. And then you'll get it. Come on, TK. Come on, TK. I believe in you. All I care that you work this whole entire pommel horse is just going to circles. And for that matter, all I care that you do for the rest of pommel horse is just circles. Okay? Proud of you, Tucker. All right? Can you do me a favor? Is when you get the five circles, make sure that you guys text uh, chat me. And then we'll see the next couple of tries as well. Okay? All right. Keep working hard, guys. Okay? So, these are the exercises here, okay? I think everybody knows what's going on. For the level fives and sixes, I'm going to show you with Jackson. Even though he's doing it slightly wrong, but not wrong, we decided that it's not wrong. Okay? So, you're going to slide forward with your feet forward. You're going to slide backwards with your feet backwards. You're going to slide backwards with your feet forwards. You're going to go all the sorts of directions, whichever one you want. All right? I think most important what you want to do is establish a good stretch shape in your body. All right, he's using, I think, a, a slider, but you could also use socks on a wood floor. You could use um, a paper a paper plate. You could use a, a Frisbee. You could use anything, really. All right? Just make sure your body is nice and straight. And you're just trying to replicate. Yeah, but boon, 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 boon. I want you to have your belly up. Look at his body is straight, my dog. I don't want you guys to rush through your strengths just to get them done. All right, there is no there is no really like time limit or anything. The all, the most important thing about our strength is that it's going to serve us the right purposes. And the right purposes is to develop a stretched circle for sure. So you just want to make sure that you have an experience in a stretched circle and understand what that shape is, all right? Opening up your belly nice and tight, keeping your body straight, keeping your legs together. All right, let's see it, Sam. Just look at the look at the camera if you can. All right, that's it, homie. Also, you're working on shoulder stability and development of uh, you know wrist and shoulder ex uh, shoulder strength. All right, guys, good job. Two minutes to go. Got to commit to those shapes, guys. That's it, Abdul Rahim. You know, like the other thing is, is you don't have to be limited to just doing Magyars and Savatos there. You could probably do your routine if you wanted, Abdul Rahim. You could do, you know, circles. Right? You could start to be a little bit more creative than just Magyars and Savatos, but. Okay, Aiden. Aiden, let's see some Russians. Let's see, try to get those forehand placements on the Russians. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, right in the middle. Yeah, I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. Move your right hand forward first. Yeah, I think that you move your right hand to the left first. I want you to move your right. No, yeah, that's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to do that. 
I want you to take your right hand and I just want you to move it slightly forward into that square. And then your left hand is going to come underneath your body and go to that square. And then your right hand is going to go diagonal. Yes, and then underneath your body. So it's a diagonal and then underneath your body skill. Underneath your body, right? So reach and then underneath and step underneath and step underneath, right? That's what you want to do. So it's like a reverse pirouette with your right hand. Yes, 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 yeah. Right? I think that what you do is you initiate the skill by turning your shoulders to the left, and that's what pulls you off the horse. Yeah, it's not turned to the left by taking your right hand and sweeping it, you know, to your left. It's keeping your right hand. Yes, much better, much better. Exactly right. Now, I want you to be very precise with those hand placements, right? And sometimes people have a tendency to move quickly through those quadrants because they, they associate a Russian with fast hands. But you don't have to go so fast. Let your feet dictate where your hands and when your hands change their position on the horse. You know what I mean? So just nice and slow. Okay, I got you, Yusuf. Okay, see it. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, you got to lean forward here. Got to lean forward here. That's it. Now take a breath and squeeze your toes and get on it. Get on it. Oh, that was your dream set, man. That was your dream set, my dog. Impressive, though. Fun to watch, you know. Eat your heart out, everyone. Okay, let's find Pommel Horse. We'll just go to Pommel Horse number eight here. All right, so we're going to go a little bit of wrist stretching right now. Make sure that we uh, take a little pommel horse break for uh, health and wellness. Okay, let's go um, single finger pull down stretches. And next finger. And next finger. And pinky finger. And switch hands, first finger. Second finger. Middle, ring finger. Yeah, I got that on video. Okay, palm up, pull down, stretch. Switch hands. Pinky up stretch. Pinky up stretch, other side. Come on, Yusuf, get it. One arm on top of the other stretch. Come on, Yusuf. Switch arms. Tark, can you do the uh, the bicep? Oh, you're you're doing work. That's fine. Um, let's have Omar. Can you go against the wall and do the bicep stretch? So you're just going to go like this, okay? You're going to put your fingers against the wall. Uh, can you do the other wall? The wall in front of you, just so that we can see your hand. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. Do the other wall. Just go to the other wall. Yes. Yes. So what I want you to do is I want you to go palm up and put your just the very, very fingertips on the wall. I want you to go palm up, move away from the wall so just your fingertips are touching. Just your finger and palm up all the way up. Palm facing the ceiling palm facing the ceiling okay 
Then what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of, no, palm of your right hand facing the ceiling. The palm of your right hand. Yes. Yes. And just do that. Now, yeah, don't inlocate your shoulder. You don't have to inlocate your shoulder. If you want to stretch a little bit more, you can lift your arm up a little bit more or look to the side. Look to the your other side. There you go. And that should stretch your bicep. Okay, not your pecs. I don't want you to do your pecs right now. I just want you to stretch your bicep. Should be a pretty good bicep stretch there. So do like maybe 20, 30 seconds on that arm and switch arms 20, 30 seconds on the other arm. We got two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Okay, Yusuf, let's get it. Just kidding. We don't have two minutes and 20 seconds. We'll go after Yusuf is done with this. Come on, Yusuf. You got to take a breath now and start thinking about this skill now. Right? You got to start thinking about this skill now. Okay? All right. Okay, guys. Let's go to the screen. The level fours are going to be doing circles with perfect form. Level fives are going to be doing flares. Or if you don't have flares, you're going to do handstand against the couch. And you go from one split to the next split, from one split to the next split. I'll show you guys that with Yusuf so you can see. Um, then we're going to have the level sixes are going to do the same thing. Level sevens are going to do f uh, five sets of 15 push-ups on a bouncy ball or basketball or something that's an un like. Uh, an unstable surface. You can also do it on like a medicine ball. And the level 8s, 9s, 10s, and JDs are going to do five sets of, of 15 pike handstands with that scapular elevation and depression so that you guys can really get a good pop up to your handstand for, for your dismounts. All right, so it's green. If you have any questions, let me see. Uh, send me a chat. Otherwise, let's get it going. All right, Abdul Rahim, um, this is what I want you to do. Um, Sam, can you do me a favor? Let's work with Sam. All right, I want you to just go. Uh, you're gonna do a uh, push. Push the mushroom so it doesn't slide against something. Yeah. Now you're gonna do a kick handstand with your shoulders on the on the mushroom. And you're gonna do a split. I'm gonna switch screens. Yeah, do a left leg split. Yep, now do a left leg split. Yeah, turn to a, yep. And then middle split. And then right leg split. Yep. And middle split. And right leg split. They're called windmills in a handstand against the couch. Okay, guys, two minutes and two seconds to go. Yeah, make sure you're not piking in the back. I don't think you want to. Yeah, I think that the shapes are, I think the intention is good. Um, you can do um, windmills, brother. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. I mean, you can do windmills or, or push-ups. doesn't matter. Okay, Abdurrahim. You can do both of them, whatever. All right, let's see it, Chase. Yeah, Chase, I think that you got to focus on your toe point, bro. Right? I'm going to take probably three and three on both toes. Uh, it, it makes a huge difference, okay? That was much better. All right, Sam, let's see some flares. Now, I'm really focusing. I really, uh, yeah, good job, Philip. I can see what you're doing. Nice work. All right, Sam, let's see it. Oh, yeah, you want me to switch cameras, okay? Yeah, it's getting better. You know, I, I, what I really do like is your your form is getting better, right? Certainly is a better better form there for sure. All right, I still think that we want to maintain a big straddle if we can, bigger straddle. Yeah, Boone, I like those shapes in the back. So a bigger straddle if you can, Sam, but I think that your form, your toe point is really nice today. All right, really nice. All right, so I do like the improvements that you've made in that behalf for sure. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go to Austin, and then I'm going to go see... Uh, Go to Shane after Austin. Let's see it, Austin. Austin, I bet if you got on Yin's uh, broadcast tomorrow morning, he's doing a flare contest for the whole world. I bet you'd win it. 
They're like the floor, the, the flare champion of the intergalactic world. That'd be cool. All right, check out Insanity. I'm not trying to give him a plug, although I sort of am. I'm just trying to make sure that uh, if you want to be involved in that, you can be. All right, Shane, let's see it. Take a look at, at Insanity on Instagram. Or check out 6 for 6 Productions because I put all of his stuff on there and all of his numbers up there. That's it, Shane. That's it, Shane. Right? Getting stronger. Nice work, man. There he is, guys. Guys, guess who it is? Guess who it is? Hey, favorite kid in the world. Timmy, you got 221. You want to do a handstand for two minutes and 21? Actually, one second. One second. No, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. One second. I'll give you three minutes. I'll give you the full three minutes. Let's just get the next exercise, and then I'll give you a full three minutes. One second. And then Timmy might be able to do a three-minute handstand. All right, level fours. You guys are going to be on the sliders and pirouettes. Okay, sideways slides and rear support. All right, so you're just going to do windshield wipers. I don't think there's any level fours on here anyway. Level fives, routines. Level sixes, routines. Level sevens um, is uh, kick the back, the back loop shape. Um, is Sean still coming tonight? No, I thought Billy Callahan was going to come tonight. I thought I said Billy, but it doesn't matter. He's uh, not on right now, so I'll be judging, okay? Um, so one second, Timmy. I see you, buddy. Hold on one second, okay? I think everybody's good to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to communicate with Timmy. I'm going to set up my three-minute timer so he's ready to go. I'm, I know I heard you. One second, Timmy. I'll, I'll, get, I'll let you talk. One second. I'm going to just start the three minutes. Everybody, you guys can get going, and let me deal with my man Timmy, okay? I'll watch everybody's routines. Give me a second. What's up, Timmy? I can't do three minutes. I'm not going to be able to do three minutes. Well, let's just, it's not three minutes anymore. It's two minutes and 45 seconds. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay, guys, let's get it. I'm going to, Omar, I, I, you just got to send me a chat, bro. You do the same thing every day. Okay, I'm going to watch, uh, let's see, um, Sam, you're ready to go? Let's see it. Okay, Timmy, two minutes, 29 seconds. Here we go, Sam. I got you. Even though you're not on the thing, I'm looking at the screen right now. I can give you advice. I'm going to keep it on Timmy, but just judge and coach you. Let's get it, man. Let's see it. And step forward, definite front more. Good job. And definite back more. Okay. Oh! Come on, here we go. Here we go. Go here we go. Come on. Come on. Ooh, smash. All right. Jackson, you want to go? Okay, let's see, Jackson. Okay, man, let's get it. Circle, circle, circle. It's a front more. And that's a back more. Come on now. Come on. Big flares. Big flares. There you go. There you go. Come on, Jackson. Russian. There you go. There you go, Jackson. There you go, dude. There you go, dude. Right? Always do that, man. You're a good gymnast, buddy. Tarek, I'm telling you, if you focus on keeping your belly to the right, it'll work. Okay? All right, Shane, let's see it. Come on, Shane. Big pushing. Go through the whole routine, even if you don't make it. It doesn't matter to me. Good front more. Come on. And reach, good back more. Come on, big pushing, big pushing, big pushing. Come on, Shane, you can do this. Oh, 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 oh! Impressive, impressive. Timmy still going. Look at this. Forty-seven seconds to go until world glory, Timmy. Oh, that's okay. All right. I will I will take world glory myself. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm Come on, here we go, Austin. Here we go. Come on, Austin. Come on, here we go. Big pushing, belly to the right, belly to the right. Big push. All right, man. This elusive level 6 full routine. Okay, Boone, you're up. Boone fell on his face. Here we go. Let's get it, Boone. Okay, level six. Here we go. Pushing down. Come on, Boone. Come on, Boone. Come on. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Okay, buddy. Okay. Boone, take a rest. I'm going to go to Sam. All right, we'll do one more, and then I'll come back to anybody else who wants to go. Okay, Sam, let's get it. Come on now. 
dirty. Shao Shuang, come on now. Uh, step forward with the front more. Step backward with the back more. And here, a big flare spindle. All right, and hands in the quadrants. Big circle and off. Dirty. Dirty. All right. Okay, guys, let's move on. I got you, Yusuf. One second. Let me give these guys the next exercise. They can get working, and then I'll work with you. All right, so you guys are going to be working... The level fives are going to be off the cushion on the floor, push off the floor and onto a cushion and then back down. This way, that way, feet this way, feet that way. Re uh, Jackson will show you what we're talking about. The level sevens, you guys are going to go straddle, jump to handstand, pirouettes around the parallettes, and Aiden will show you what, the, what we're talking about, okay? So um, maybe I'll have uh, Jackson's going to go first. So you're going to get something like this. You could use the, the top of your mushroom is fine. And you're just going to go push up and then jump up on top of that thing with your hands. Push up and then down and then to the left, to the right, forward, backward, doesn't matter to me. Right, so you could jump up there, then you could jump down to the side. Or keep jumping like that. Or go to the side, there we go. Or go forward and backward. Or just so people realize, let's slide those feet around to the side so that people can see that you can also do it as you rush in right yeah anything like that you could go here and turn and push up and turn anything like that okay good thank you sir all right and then the level sevens eights nines and tens you guys are going to be doing the straddle jump to handstand pirouettes around the around the horse so it's going to be just like these things right and just kind of work on trying to do pirouette dismounts and stuff like that all right um, and then Yusuf and Tarek or Tarek and Omar all right what well, you guys Tarek take a break for a second okay give those muscles a little rest and why don't you guys spot each other on those handstand straddle pirouettes and then in five minutes you go back to work on those circles and you'll have more success I bet okay um, let's see it Yusuf okay okay wow good editing work here this is good editing work Yusuf right boom oh man you got too you got too happy you got too excited okay guys it's green let's get going two minutes 48 seconds nice work everybody okay this looks fun what's Boone working on here yeah that's it that'll work that'll work you know it's fun to do in a straddle Boone all right, just do them on the on the horse. Just do them on the horse, Boone. Yeah, just keep your hands on the horse. <clears throat> now, yeah, but what I want you to do is turn under your hands so you don't have to break your wrist. Turn the uppers away. I want you to turn towards your towards Boone's mom now. No, no, put your hands back. Put your hands back. Yes. Put your hands back normal like this. Yes. I want you to face your fingers forward. Face your fingers forward. And I want you to turn on your left arm towards Boone's mom. Yes, don't move that arm. All right, but you moved your hands, okay? Jump down into a handstand. Jump down, okay? Go to the other side. Shake up, no, no, stand up. Stand up on the ground. Move to the blue, like the blue part of the mat. So yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Just stand there. That's it, everything's good. I just want you to take a rest before we start again. Okay, now you're going to kick to a handstand and you're going to do a straddle handstand on the horse. Both hands on the horse. Both hands on the horse. And I want you to face the opposite way. So you're facing sideways. Facing sideways. Yep, kick to a handstand right there. Yep, and have her hold you again. Yep. Okay, now I want you to keep your right hand there. Don't move it. I want you to lift your left hand and I want you to turn underneath your right arm. Yes all the way yes yes stop there flip your hands flip your hands back and go underneath your left arm yes yes nope 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 that's the opposite way you're gonna take your left arm sorry your right arm I meant to say your right arm I meant to say your right arm you're, you're right take your left hand lift your left hand up and turn underneath your right arm underneath there you go flip your left hand Good. Now, underneath your right arm. Underneath your right arm. 
towards Boone's mom. Towards Boone's mom. Yeah, underneath turns, okay? Underneath turns. So that's the secret. Now, let him go down so he rests a little bit. It's a much more fun spot, and it's much easier to spot when he's in a straddle. So we're going to try one more time, Boone. I mean, Phil. I want you to come onto the other side of the horse, though. Come to the other side of the horse. Now, this is going to be complicated, okay? But I don't care about complicated. You're smart. Okay, so you're going to kick to a handstand, and the first motion that you're going to do is kick to a handstand, Yep, and Boone's mom is going to hold you again. Now straddle in a split. In a split. Yes, like that. Now it's so much easier to spot this way. Now I want you to move your right hand to face inwards. Face inwards. Nope, that's your left hand. And now turn underneath that arm in a straddle. Yes. Now turn your right arm to face inwards. And turn underneath that arm in a straddle. Yes. And now put your feet together. Put your feet together and do like a half pirouette, land on your feet on the other side of the horse. Yes, and land on your feet, land on your feet. All right, so that's how the whole thing goes, all right? You're going to go kick handstand, turn your hand, turn under, turn your hand, turn under, and it's a much easier spot and more fun, Boone's mom, if eventually you start to get used to it. And then you can just kind of like move his legs around, and it's a really fun spot. It's like a, a world, like a world, like a helicopter. All right, let's see one more. All right, straddle, turn your hand, turn your hand in and under. Turn your hand in and under. Yep, and then half pirouette laid on your feet. Super job. Super job. Yep, super job, guys. Nice work. Fun to watch. Fun to watch. Yeah, fun to watch. Okay, guys. Level fives. The floor on the wall, headstand, push to handstand, gotta get strong. Level six is walk around with Russians. Uh, feet in socks, uh, and you gotta make your hands go on the sock squares. You can do it on the top of the mushroom if you want. You just gotta be precise with where your hands are going. Come on, Yusuf, all right? And then um, the level eights, nines, and tens are gonna do uphills and downhill walk arounds. I think all the eights, nines, and tens right now are spoken for, they know what to do. So I think that we're just doing walk around Russians with feet in the sock squares. So let me show you what that means. Um, uh, maybe I can show you, uh, I guess I'll go to uh, Jackson because he's got everything set up. So he's just got two socks on the ground or he might have two, two things on the ground that make us a, a square, right? Bungees or whatever it is. And he's gonna put his hands on the squares and I just wanna make sure that everybody knows how to, how to put their hands on a Russian. This is what I want you to work on. Your right hand is gonna, oh, well, well, do you, you, which way do you go? Which way do you go? You go, okay, okay, all right. So the first thing that I want you to do first is I want you to move your left hand forward a square. That's the first motion. Then the next motion is as your feet swing around, your right hand is gonna move over one square. Yes. Now from here on in, you're skipping a square every time. So your left hand skips, and your right hand skips. And your left hand skips a square, and your right hand skips a square. And your left hand skips a square, and your right hand skips a square, and that's where you would push off of your right hand with your belly to the left and into your circles, okay? But I want you to be very precise with your hand placements on these things, okay? Abdel Rahim, what are kicks to back, to back loops? I'm sorry I didn't see that. I'm gonna have somebody help you with it right now so you can see, okay? All right, maybe we'll, I'll just work with Jackson because it's on him, okay? So Jackson, can you do these? Uh, I want you to show Abdel Rahim what it is to like kick to a back loop shape. Actually, uh, if, is Tark? Where's Tark? He's not on the, on the camera right now. All right, so face to the side so we can see a little bit better, Jackson. All right, and then Abdel Rahim, when you do like a back loop, you're gonna be in this like stretched shape with your head up, leaning forward on your hands a little bit. And I want you to lean forward as much as you can so that you can kind of replicate a back loop shape and maybe even like just kick your feet off the ground just barely barely off the ground so that you're almost like trying to replicate that kind of strength but Abdul Rahim look at his body is in a stretch and yours is in a hollow right now his body is in a total stretch now lean more forward 
Thank you. You guys can get going. There's two minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to work with Abdul Rahim. Okay, so I want your I want your shoulders more forward, Abdul Rahim. Right, shoulders more forward. More forward in front of your hands. I want you, yeah, like a little bit more if you can, and hold that right there. And now no sagging in your back. I want you to push off of your feet so your back is tighter. Squeeze your butt so it's not a sag in your back. Yep, just like that, man. And I think that you have to realize that if you're trying to do a Magyar or a back loop or Russians, you're going to have to be able to lean forward and get into that shape ultimately. So that's what you're doing. Okay, Chase, good job, but but I want you to be in a stretch shape the whole time. So I want you to try one more time. I think that where you were putting your hands is correct. So keep thinking about your hands, but you got to think about your body shape. I want you to look forward. Look forward, okay? And I want you to stay in a stretch the whole time. Belly down, belly down. All right, now reach forward with your first hand, and now all the way, yes. It's actually not correct. Let's start again. I want you to reach your right hand forward a square. Forward a square, not forward and over, but forward a square. That's it. I want you to move your left hand over a square. Nope. Yes. I want your right hand to skip a square and go to the next square. Skip a square. And then your left hand, skip a square. And then your right hand, skip a square. And then the left hand, skip a square. So it's a front more. And then there's a step. Nope. Yes. No. Skip. So every time you do the Russian, you're skipping a hand. You're skipping a hand. And really what it is is just a front more and then 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 a front more. Okay. And then you go diagonal boon and do another front more pretty much. So you step forward with your left hand. Yep. That's fine if you're going that way. I don't know which way you're swinging boon. Which way do you swing? Okay, so yeah, you're going to step forward with your left hand. Then you're going to step over, yes, and now everything's going to skip two squares. Skip a square, skip a square, skip a square, skip a square. So keep going. That's a front more. That's a front more. That's a front more. That's a front more. It's just a front more over and over and over and over and over again. Right? It's not put your hands anywhere. It's a front more. And then that means your hands have to be kind of like precise with where they're going. Okay, guys. All right. Exercise number 13. And this is the last exercise on pommel horse. Oh, okay. It's, it's a uh, wrist, wrist flexibility again. Okay. So let's go one finger pull down stretch. Timmy, you want more, Timmy, you want one more try at two minutes and 54 seconds. All right, go. I'll, I'll do everybody's uh, stretching. You got you do the handstand. Two minutes, 48 seconds. All right, so single finger pull down stretch. Let's go middle finger, left hand. Ring finger. Two minutes, 36 seconds, Timbo. Left finger, uh, pinky finger. Switch hands. First finger. Middle finger. Come on, Timmy. You know you can do it, buddy. You did it longer than this yesterday. It's two minutes, 12 seconds right now, Timmy. Ring finger. Come on, Timmy. Gonna get some money. Pinky finger. Two minutes to go, Timmy. Two minutes. Hey, make sure you guys keep stretching up there. Yeah, Boone. Palm up, pull down, stretch. Palm up, pull down. Good job, Timmy. Switch hands, palm up, pull down, stretch. One minute, 30 seconds. That was another 30 seconds, Timmy. Good job. Pinky up, stretch. Right? Boone, Chase, and... and uh, and Philip is starting to give you claps, buddy. Everybody's getting excited. One minute, 15 seconds, Timmy. <laughs> Let's go pinky up stretch. Omar's giving you thumbs up already. Smoothie's at the screen. Aiden's at the screen. Right? Everybody's watching, my dude. One minute to go, Timmy. One minute. Let's go one arm on top of the other stretch. 
Timmy, this is going to be the last thing that we do in the practice, too. As soon as we're done, I'm going to sign out. I'm going to mic drop on this. 51 seconds. It's recorded the whole thing. I think it was a really good show. I really appreciate everybody's uh, hard work again tonight. Topped off by Timmy doing a three-minute handstand. All right. Come on, Timbo. Come on, Timmy. All right, Timbo, 23 seconds to go. Everybody's at the screen. Everybody's pumped. Everybody's amped. This is the championship of all championships. Right? 11 seconds, Timmy. 10 seconds. All right, buddy. Everybody working. Right? Really proud of you guys. All right, Timmy, you did it. Come back. Let's go get some money. Okay, take yourself off uh, Take yourself off uh, speaker view. Go to gallery view. Everybody give him some money. Okay, Timmy. Okay, buddy. You got any last things to say, Timmy? It got... hurts. What? It hurts. I know, but you know what? It's going to make you stronger, and everybody's so proud of you. You got... You got hand claps from Jackson and Sam and Austin and Smoothie and, and Aiden's at the beach, but he's also giving you thumbs up, right? And Boone, Chase, Philip, right? Proud of you, buddy. Okay, nice work. Timmy, this is my dude right over here. All right? Okay, guys. I appreciate all your hard work today. I appreciate working with each and every one of you guys. All right? Tomorrow we're going to do vault P-bars and high bar. We're going to have uh, Nicholas Merriman on Saturday. Take a look at Yusuf's Roth and his work that he's just been doing today. Hopefully you can send me some videos of that. And then we're going to have, uh, I think, Akash Modi is going to be on Monday. We're going to have him talk about his dismount and there's so much to do and talk about. I hope that you guys have a good night. I appreciate uh, all of your hard work and efforts and... Got to try to make tomorrow's show even better, okay? And as always, keep wrapping that six for six, boy!